Great. Well, I guess work is working. About everything. <laughs> well, you would think, but it was actually more fastball changeup. Um, Christy had talked to me before the game and just leading up to today, and he was just like, hey, we're probably going to go more fastball changeup tonight, which is fine with me. I mean, it worked, so why not? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that, is that just simplify it for you a little bit when you when coach tells you something like that? Um, a little bit. It just kind of heightens your emphasis on that one pitch of like, hey, like if I'm going to be throwing this pitch, like I have to have it going. So, yeah. How good did it feel to be able to do that tonight after missing the start last weekend? And oh, then, it always feels great to come back out here. I mean, Obviously, baseball is like extremely fun, and then playing in front of Haymarket makes it even more fun. So, like, why wouldn't you want to come back out here and pitch? Did you expect that performance today with six no-hit innings stepping on the mound? No. I mean, as a pitcher, you always want to have in mind that you're going to go in in the game and you're just going to shove. Everyone wants to throw a perfect game, but there's a reason why there's not very many of them. And so when you're throwing and stuff like that, you can't be thinking of that. You can't think, oh, I have to throw a perfect game. I have to throw a no-hitter. You just got to go out there and compete pitch to pitch. And that was my main emphasis tonight is I kind of reflected back on some previous outings and uh, realized that I was almost pitching a little conservative of like, all right, I'm a starter. I'm supposed to go deep in the game. I'm going to you know, try to uh, save a little in the tank so I can go deep and it just wasn't making my stuff as sharp. And so tonight my big emphasis was just let it rip, pitch to pitch. Like it could be my last pitch, I could get pulled or whatever, but I'm just gonna go one pitch at a time. Did you, uh, did you put up any argument when, when they came out to take you out? The I wanted to, but uh, Coach Bull's kind of a hard guy to argue with, so. <laughs> what about the defense behind you? I know Max had some previous stops. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Um, yeah, that kid hit that ball and I was like, like, that's down the line. Max dives, comes up, makes a perfect throw to first. And I just told him, like, the whole time the ball was going around, the field, I was like, hey, great play, great play, great play. Come to the dugout, he's sitting there, walk over to him, give him a hug, great play, man. Like, I love having great defense behind me. It just, it's a confidence booster as a pitcher, especially me being a big ground ball guy, to know that, like, if I just fill up the zone, make him swing the bat, like, good things will happen. What about the, the Eastern Oklahoma connection there? Is Nick getting the, what turned out to be the game winning hit, obviously, what you would do. Yeah, I mean, Nick's, he's a he's a freaking competitor, dude. Like, I love that kid so much. Um, that's why I wanted him to come here so bad when they started recruiting him. Um, and me and him have great conversations all the time in the dugout. Like, his second AB, I uh, talked to him a little bit. Like, hey, did you notice how they pitched you there? We just always talk shop whenever he's in the dugout. And uh, one thing Bolt really emphasized was his adjustment mid-AB, which is really hard to do as a hitter. Um, he goes up there, goes two straight change-ups, kind of like way out in front of him, and then he adjusts and goes to big team swing, and just kind of like runs out of bat, but you know hits a flare, ends up being the game winner. So, what was kind of your connection with Griffin behind the plate tonight? Were you guys on the same page all game? And how important is it? Uh, how important is your catcher to a performance like that? Oh yeah, like it's always nice having Griff back there. I mean, he kind of he has a really good mind of like how each pitcher pitches. So. Like me, I'm a big fast tempo guy. So he always tries to like get the ball back to me as quick as he can. You know, like he's trying to steal pitches for me all night. And um, yeah, it's just nice having him back there because it just takes a little bit of relief off your shoulders of um, especially like pitch calling stuff. I mean, you don't have to think as much. You just trust your catcher and what he puts down and just throw it. What is it like out there when the other guy on the mound is dealing just as good as you are? Oh, I love it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a competitor, so always love being a big dog fight and then like obviously that their dude also has a no hitter going so it's like all right like let's go let's throw it down thanks, thanks thank you guys